I love protective hairstyles that save me a lot of time when it comes to doing my hair. But sometimes I get too lazy and I don't take care of my hair while they are in protective hairstyles, meaning I don't moisturize it. So right now, my hair and my scalp, it's dry. So I wanted to show you guys my wash routine post protective hairstyle. Obviously the takedown is the first thing I gotta do, but because my hair is in braids, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Okay, so this is what the braid looks like. Yeah, this would have been a bomb braid out. <laughs> but okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just lightly separate the strands. I'm gonna go in with my water and my spray bottle and just... Oh, that feels so good. Just spray my hair a little bit. To make the detangling process a lot easier, I'm gonna use a conditioner and I'm going in with this Garnier Fruity Smooth and Treat. This is a one minute hair mask. And I'm going to lightly detangle. And now I'm just going to do that to the rest of my sections. So just popping in here to reiterate detangling before you get into the bathroom. Listen. I don't know about you all, but the tangles that I get if I just go in and wash my hair without detangling with this conditioner routine. Listen, I am in the shower for hours and my hair is now matted. Like, something about the water touching dry hair just makes it clump together and so much harder to detangle. When it comes to my scalp, you see the oiling of the scalp to kind of loosen the dirt and the flakes and help break up the product that is just like sitting on your hair yeah that's a must for me as well like it helps so much and i just put my hair in a plastic cup you could use a plastic bag if you want for like 30 minutes just to moisturize my hair now when i get into the bathroom my hair is so much so moisturized and it feels so much better and i have to do this because my hair was dry for so long, I don't want to strip it by going straight in with shampoo. And I prefer to start with a scalp scrub to loosen up all of the dryness that was on my scalp. Like, this is a must for me. <laughs> and yeah, this scalp scrub really just lathers properly and gets into all of the areas that I need it. And I focus mostly around my hairline and, my, and the nape of my neck. I, those are my problem areas when it comes to build up and flakiness. After washing that out, I go in with a regular shampoo. And I also like this nozzle tip that the Wash to the Light from Carol Sosa has. Because even though I detangled, yeah, when the water hits my hair, it tangles just a little bit. And especially my scalp is hard to reach. And again, I like focusing on my hairline. That is where most of my product buildup is from like the gels and the edge control and stuff. Then I move on to the rest of my hair and I just work the shampoo throughout it. This time I focus on the length of my hair because obviously my hair has been unwashed for two weeks. So I'm just trying to get everything out. Now, because I used the conditioner before I got into the bathroom, I could head straight into deep conditioner. And I like using one that is extremely moisturizing. I don't really need a lot of protein at this point. So a moisturizing deep conditioner is what I tend to reach for. You know, just to help with the dryness. And it's so much easier to detangle because I detangled prior. That's basically my routine. I wash everything out and that's the end of my wash day. So yeah, thank you guys for watching me wash my hair. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me comments and let me know what videos you would like to see. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you aren't following me on my social media platforms, you know what to do. Everything will be in the description right down below. And that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!